My hat's off once again to general manager Tom Telesco and head coach Mike McCoy and the 2013 San Diego Chargers. They had a very pleasantly surprising season last year. You know, they go from being picked to maybe being battling it out with Oakland for the worst record in the AFC West to being a team that knocked on the doorstep of the playoffs, kicked the door in, made the playoffs, and not only that, won a playoff game. And basically came a third and 18 away from at least worst case scenario, tying the Denver Broncos and forcing that divisional round playoff game into overtime. And part of the reason for that was McCoy and Wiz and Hunt, the offensive coordinator, did a great job of getting Phillip Rivers to come back to showing some of his old form, some of that Pro Bowl form he had in years past. This was an impressive Chargers team, a team still with holes and still with needs on both sides of the football, frankly, but they pl really played above themselves and really made a good season out of it when didn't really look like they should have. But... The hard work is just beginning for the San Diego Chargers. They are far from a championship contending team. There's no question about that. So they need to set about in the next draft or two really hitting in some key areas, filling some big holes, and getting some big-time contributors so that way they potentially can be. And when you look at the description box down below with the draft results for the San Diego Chargers in the 2014 NFL Draft, I'll at least say with their first two picks, I thought they really hit it out of the park with both of those. They hit addressed two of their biggest needs with two really good value picks, guys that were among the best players available, regardless of position, that also happened to fill positions of need. And this is a Chargers defense that, let's face it, bottom line, has to get better on defense if they're going to be able to contend with the Denvers and the New Englands in the AFC. Um, they needed to get better on defense. They needed to get better in their linebacking core and in particular in the secondary at the cornerback position. In terms of the Chargers' best pick, I think it was easily Jason Verrett, the cornerback from TCU. If he didn't have the shoulder concerns and if he was six foot, he's a top ten pick in this draft, probably the first corner selected. This is a physical corner. This is a guy that could turn and run with just about anybody, in my opinion, has a great nose for the football. And I think the San Diego Chargers got themselves an absolute steal at the end of round number one with getting Verrett from TCU at number 25, who fills easily their biggest hole on their defense and their team in general, perhaps, which was the cornerback position. And then in terms of best value, I go right back. If Verrett wasn't the best value, Jeremiah Tauschu, the outside linebacker from Georgia Tech, clearly was. Here's a guy that fills that role that they needed. They needed another edge rusher in that 3-4 on the outside at linebacker. You've got Melvin Ingram coming back from a knee injury. Larry English has never really fully lived up to expectations. They needed more help. They needed more guys that could generate a consistent pass rush. And an explosive edge rusher like Jeremiah Tauchu not only brings that, but also helps out the secondary, too. The more pass rush you can get, the less time you have to defend opposing wide receivers, the more mistakes you can get away with. You want to see a perfect example of that? Look at that Broncos Seahawks Super Bowl 48. There were receivers open at different times throughout that game. But the problem is Peyton Manning had absolutely no time to throw because the Seahawks' pressure up front was just too much. And he missed these open receivers in man and zone situations. That pass rush can make up for so much. And a guy like Jeremiah Tauschu, on the other side maybe of a Melvin Ingram long term, could bring an explosive one-two combination edge rush that the Chargers have lacked for many years now. In terms of a pick that could surprise, I look at a guy like Ryan Carruthers, the nose tackle from Arkansas State, six foot one, three hundred and forty pounds, damn near a strong guy. Not the most explosive guy in the world, but again, they're running a three four for a nose tackle. Above all else, the nose tackle's got to be big and strong. And Ryan Carruthers is that. Six foot one, like I said, about three hundred and thirty five, three hundred and forty pounds. And for a guy whose primary job in a three four at nose tackle would be to eat up multiple blockers and be a clogger, be a hole filler, a guy like a Ryan Carruthers can do that. And to get a guy like that in round five is pretty good value. In terms of some of the things I might second guess with this Chargers draft, um, Chris Watt in round number three. A draftable prospect, yes, but maybe more of a round five or six guy. I really didn't expect him to get drafted in round number three. That surprised me a little bit. I wonder why they bothered taking another running back in round number six and Marion Grice from Arizona State. I like the prospect. The value was pretty good there, but again, you're talking about a team that has Ryan Matthews, who had a really nice year in 2013. Danny Woodhead, who's a very nice compliment back. Oh, and by the way, they just brought in Donald Brown via free agency. 
Where is a Marion Grice ever really going to get an opportunity to play? Where is he going to get carries? Where is he going to get touches? just seemed like a bit of a wasted pick to me. I was surprised that with as many holes in the secondary that the San Diego Chargers did have entering this draft that they only addressed it once with their first-round pick, and that was it. I was expecting them to spend two picks on a corner and maybe a safety or maybe three corners throughout the draft process, but only one. And then they waited until round seven to get a wide receiver, and that was Tevin Reese from Baylor. I thought that they should invest maybe a third or fourth round pick if they didn't decide to take one around number one on a wide receiver, another weapon for Phillip Rivers, and a compliment to Keenan Allen in that passing game. So there are some different things that I question about this Chargers draft. Overall, I gave him a grade of a C. I think Verrett and Tauschu addressed the biggest needs on defense. They were both good values, both among the best players available, regardless of position at that time when they were drafted. Uh, but then I look at Chris Watt, and I thought he was at least a one to two round reach, if not more. Carruthers might be nice. You know, but again, you're talking about a fifth-round pick here. I thought they wasted a sixth-round pick on Marion Grice, and I thought they waited too long to address receiver in round number seven with Tevin Reese. I was also surprised they only spent one pick on um, a defensive back. I thought they should have addressed maybe more. So an average grade, like I said, I really liked the first two picks for the San Diego Chargers. The rest of their draft, eh, not so much. So an average C grade for me.